All right, guys. I want to talk about Dockable Windows real quick. So, most of your features, a lot of them can be accessed from this, from these. So, most everything is, a, well, about, yeah, everything is a Dockable Window. So, if I grab this, if I pin it, I can now grab it off here. And this sort of hints you to where you can place it. Um... Again, this as well. So, all your items that you see over here are like that. You can come over here and press the auto hide, which unpins it. And then you can just come over here. It temporarily keeps it open as long as you're on it. Come off of it, brings it off. Um, if you do lose any of these uh, dockable windows, or, um, you know, if you want... If you don't want them on there or whatnot, I mean, you can easily exit out of them. But, it, you know, if you do lose them that way, and you actually just want to come to your view, view tab, come down here into the ribbon, and you'll see on the workspace uh, panel, there's a, shoot, sorry, Windows button, press that Windows button, and here is all your different ones. You know, for example, here's your animator. Uh, if we come down here, we can get the selection tree back on there. And we can get sets, and we can do a lot of, we can everything, practically everything's on here. Here's our properties again. And so uh, there's th that has a lot of your interface, you know, with animator. Again, you could. Some some of the interaction is up here. You can come here and press that, and it'll pop up the scripter. S some items are like that. Again, though, workspace, windows, and that's where you'll find this stuff. Uh, something that I found myself doing quite a bit was losing them and then forgetting how to get them back. But, yeah, it's just views, workspace, windows, and then there's all your different dockable windows thanks for watching and if you do have any other tips tricks or something you want to learn or if i missed anything let me know comment share like and again thanks for watching